we're gonna go to school today it's around two ish i actually had a class this morning that i skipped because i was being bad i actually wasn't being bad i was like doing work so whatever i didn't go to that class but we're gonna go to school now and I have a class at six o'clock, but I basically have to do an entire Photoshop assignment for my digital essentials class. And it, that might sound really irresponsible, but it's a, a very introductory course. And I already kind of know how to use Photoshop. So I feel like I've been able to get all the assignments done really fast. So I'm basically gonna go to school and do an entire assignment. And then my class starts at six and it goes until almost nine. It's a really long one. After that, I'm gonna come home and I'm gonna cut a friend's hair. And that's my whole plan for today. But I feel like this week is gonna be fun. Like I'm going for dinner with a friend tomorrow. This weekend, I'm gonna see some friends. I'll be working at the bakery. What else? That might be it for now, but I don't know. I'm sure other things will come up. Oh yeah, so Robin and Cole are making me dinner on Sunday and I'm also gonna give them haircuts. I think that's it. Okay, let's go to school. Wait, okay, I can't believe I haven't told you about this. This book, I showed it in a previous video, but I am so obsessed with it. In January, I was in such a bad reading slump. I only read like two books and that's crazy for me. I think in the last two years, I've read about like six, between six and eight books every single month. And last year I only read two, it was bad. I started to think I hated reading, which has never happened to me. But this book changed everything. It just got me right back into it. It's been so good. For those of you that don't know what this book is about, it's about a little ghost that lives in an abandoned monastery and a family moves into the monastery and the ghost falls in love with the mother of the family and it's great. It's just, it's beautiful and I love it. And hopefully I can get my Photoshop assignment done really fast because all I want to do is read this book. I'll also just show you what I'm wearing. This is like the most typical going to school outfit that I wear. Uh, this is Robin's sweater that I stole from her. This camo long sleeve shirt. These jeans that are from A Gold. I don't know. They're really old though. And then my Clark's. And I have black socks on, which I feel like looks weird, but I don't have any other clean socks, so whatever. And then I just put on my L.L. Bean jacket. Still can't decide if it looks like it's huge on me or if it fits normally. I also have my Olend bag that I take to school with me, my water bottle, and now we leave. I'm about to go downstairs to Robin and Cole's for dinner. 
but I am also eating a Danish right now because I'm starving. And we're not eating until seven and it's six right now. So I need a little snack. And I'm gonna give them haircuts. And oh, I'm gonna bring this fun wine with me. I'll show you. This wine, it's a fun Pat Nat. I had it at a restaurant like a year ago and I really liked it. And I'm excited to drink it. And that's what tonight is. It's a very good day, Nash. You did good. You did good. I have something really exciting to show you. Actually, UK, you might have already seen it because I may have included it in a video that's already posted, but I bought this sweater off of somebody on Instagram and I've been looking for one of these for years. I always check eBay to try to find one and they're usually really expensive, but this one I got for $15. This is it. It's 100% wool, so it's really, really warm. And it's the fit is so good. Like it's perfectly kind of boxy and I love the neckline and the sleeves are such a good length and I just love it. And I'm gonna go on a walk and I'm gonna wear it cause I think it'll keep me really warm. I'm gonna get a smoothie, I think. Yeah. <laughs>